Wow, just another day, another bug in the Apple ecosystem. I never thought that this would happen again, yet here we are repeating time and history over and over again. I'm gonna be showing you guys the latest, most destructive iOS bug that will crash and freeze any iPhone right now on iOS 11 with one simple text. I'm gonna send it over here and this guy, iPhone 8, will freeze just like the iPhone 10 did. And I've tested this on so many devices. Oh, whoops, I froze this one again too. And it works just the same on all of them. This is all thanks to Abraham Masary who released this weaponized bug in iOS. And I hope you guys treat this accordingly. It's just for education and entertainment that I'm showing you. So please treat it accordingly and do not go and uh, send this upon unsuspecting people, which I know everybody's gonna do anyway. I'm just telling you, it's actually very dangerous. So just to show you very quickly, here we go. Here is a device on iOS 11.2.2. I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick. Latest firmware updated right there. So this will work up to 11.2.5 as well currently as I'm making this video, just so you know. And here is the sender. So I'm gonna send the malware right now in the form of the text. It's just a link, it's just a link and you send it over here. So watch as I'm actually using this device over here in a second here, it's just gonna freeze and look at that. One text, one text in my iPhone 10, my thousand dollar phone is done, it's gone. For the next three minutes, it will be completely frozen and unusable and I can click the power button, I can click, well there is no home, I can swipe home, I can actually click volume, anything, I can even take screenshots, nothing will work. It is mind blowing how dangerous this bug is and I'm gonna show you how to do it. <laughs> Sorry, just, just for entertainment purposes guys, but you can see that some functions do remain, some still work. Uh, and it's kind of weird because this works in a very interesting manner to where it disables the use of your phone, the buttons, but then this stuff works. I mean, partially it's still there. What ends up happening after the three minutes are up is your phone will respring, it'll get the black screen, it'll just spin. So this is effective power. Effective power is back, baby, in 2018 and working now. So I'm gonna show you that in just a second, but I wanna show you what will happen here in just a couple minutes. So my iPhone 10 will respring. And the interesting thing is it wasn't always working this way. The first time I sent this to uh, one of my phones, it basically just crashed the text message application. When I sent it again, that's when the lockup started happening. So you have to send this maybe once or twice if you wanna get this effect here on your iPhone. But I'll tell you what happened on my personal iPhone. Your phone itself does freeze as well uh, after it sends the message, but then it unfreezes after like 15 seconds. So it's not as dangerous sending it as it is receiving it. And actually my phone itself, all of the text messages got deleted. Just out of nowhere, my entire uh, text message library was blank here. So there was nothing there and it's kind of scary how dangerous, how, how much of an impact on my phone it had. And there was a point where my text message application wasn't opening either. It just completely blanked out on me and wouldn't open. So do think about the consequences before you do this on your device or any others. Your text messages might get deleted, your text message app might not open anymore, period, on iOS 11 and your phone will freeze be slow, overheat, this thing overheats like crazy, and then this is what happens. Uh, the screen goes black and it just respring's. and you can keep doing this over and over. The only way to protect against this is to actually block the person that's sending you these if they're gonna be doing it in a deliberate manner. So it is extremely dangerous and you can just keep doing it over and over here. Let me send it again just for effect here. So I'm just gonna send it again. Uh, no trickery, I'm literally just sending a link and you have to stay inside of the app. Whatever I am on the phone, whatever it is I'm doing, once I receive that text message, the phone just locks up and freezes on the latest firmware. It's hard to believe that this is actually working. It's in the flesh, I'm showing you guys this, it is here. Without an immediate patch, this is gonna keep working on iOS 11. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this real quick. Just uh, wanted to demonstrate that it works. All right, let's get to it. All right, and here is the actual text once the image or the preview renders. And just to show you guys, that's what it looks like. That is the face of the new effective power and what's gonna drive so many of you guys crazy in 2018. So it's a bunch of gibberish, bunch of letters overlapped. There's obviously some glitchery going on here and I'll explain how it works. So essentially the website that you are sending somebody, it's just a website link iOS can't handle the preview. They're exploiting the fact that the preview loads data and it takes the data and shows it in the text message app 
and it can't it can't display it. So if you try and go to the website, this is what it looks like. There's literally nothing here. It's just a black page. It says pages loading up top. It's quite interesting how it works. And uh, as you can see, my messages app just crashed and froze on me again. And I'll show you guys how to fix this if it's not working. So I'm gonna work backwards here because I need to fix this before I can send that. So I'm gonna fix it real quick. Basically force close the app here go into the link down below in the description. If your messages app won't open, this is what it'll look like. And once you load it, it'll ask you to open in messages. And uh, there you go. Your messages app is working again, and you can go ahead and delete that uh, thread that you sent. And again, it might delete all of your text messages for some reason. I had like several months of messages in here and they're all gone, so I'm a little bummed out about that. But anyways, this is how it's done. So let me disable this controller. So I will leave this link down below in the description. You guys just wanna go ahead and copy that link here. And we're gonna go into the messages app and select your victim, whoever it is you're gonna be sending this to, all right? And uh, once again, I'm gonna show you guys, I am on iOS 11.2.2. I'll even go to the lock screen. So you will be doing nothing. You'll just be, or this thing will be in your pockets. So you'll be doing nothing. Someone sends you this link and your phone will be delibitated. It'll, it cannot do anything. It'll just completely crash. So just to show you guys, I'm going to sit right here. And when I get this text message in a second, it'll just freeze here. Uh, even on the lock screen, there's nothing you need to do. No input from you that's necessary. So it's just like effective power, but worse. It lasts way longer and you can just keep doing it over and over. And uh, yeah, this will overheat your device. It heats up like crazy, kills the battery life. So do keep that in mind. Only send this to people you really, really hate and wish very bad things upon. So I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, but if you do end up sending it to your friend as a prank, there is a very easy way to fix it. It doesn't leave any lasting effects other than deleting your text messages, so that's annoying. But yeah, once again, you can use that save link file, so do share that with them if you do uh, imply this upon them so they know how to fix it. Now, I've tested this on a range of devices already on my iPhone 8 over here as well. It freezes it, so just so you guys know, it's not just a random thing. It happens on every single device I have tested. So I'm gonna enable iMessage on here real quick, and this is on iOS 11.0 as well or on iOS 11. And uh, once again, I'm gonna go ahead and send that link over. That one's still frozen and okay, I'm gonna go ahead and send it. So I can be doing whatever I want on this one. And once I receive it, it takes a minute to send or a few seconds then the phone is just gone. And this works on all of Apple's latest devices. All right, sorry about that. I kept freezing up in my messages application. So once again, I'm gonna send it over here. And this guy, iPhone 8, will freeze just like the iPhone 10 did. And I've tested this on so many devices. Oh, whoops, I froze this one again too. And it works just the same on all of them. So this is extremely dangerous, guys. Be very careful in who you send this to and be, you know, be courteous. If it is a prank, then you go and send them the link to fix it right away because it's very annoying. Now, the only way to fix this that I can think of is to block the person's number in the messages application. So that way they can't send you that stuff because it's the preview itself that gets your phone. Uh, um, otherwise, you can't get it on Snapchat, Instagram, anything like that. It's just within the messages application. This does work on iOS 10 and it breaks the messages application in the very same way. I just want you guys to be aware of that. You will not be able to open the messages application at all. I'm gonna show you that as a demo real quick here. My friend literally just messaged that he can't open his messages. I sent this to him as a prank. Um, yeah. It, very same result as mine. You just get a blank messages app. So be very careful, guys. <laughs> be courteous about who you send it to. Just wanted to share that to you personally. I've already affected someone's life and screwed up their iPhone. All right, and I can see my remnants from the older days in the Blake bug. This is so much worse than that ever was. Okay. Back to the task, just to show you guys my device on iOS 10. So for iPhone 5s or anyone that's downgraded on iOS 10, this is way worse. It is affected just the same. So I'm gonna send that over here, one, two, three, and we'll see what happens. And all of these devices at the same time are also, oh, it froze it just the same. So on iOS 10, it happens. On iOS 11, it happens. On the new iPhones, it happens. It doesn't matter. This bug does not care. It will eat your device and freeze it and crash it regardless. 
So guys, just wanted to share this with you. This is so amusing to me, but super dangerous. Just be careful with it. Once again, I want to reiterate that and uh, be nice to people. And anyways, if you wanted to follow up on this, Abraham Masri is the one that did release it. So follow him down below in the description. I will leave a link. So if there are any developments on it, fixes, anything like that, he will have it here. Uh, once again, if your messages application is not working, go ahead and jump into the link down below in the description. And this is what you will get to the save file. So just load it on your phone. It'll open a message up in your messages application and thus saving your text messages. But again, this is what happens. It's kind of weird because sometimes your messages may appear, they'll bleed through, but then they'll just be gone. So this is very dangerous for several reasons, aside from the freezing and crashing itself. That's it's just crazy. I can't believe that this keeps happening. This is uh, being found time and time again using different methods on iOS. I'll keep you guys updated if there are any developments on this, but yeah, watch out for it. Best way to prevent it is just by blocking the other person. And yeah, enjoy responsibly, guys. Peace.